We're also live at City Hall, the old City Hall courthouse, where Canada's so-called Prince of Pot and his wife are expected to appear for a bail hearing. They were arrested at the airport last night. We don't know exactly why. Carmen Wong will be on this story. It's 931 and minus one. From 299 Queen Street West, you're watching Toronto's breaking news. CP24, good morning. I'm George Lagajanis, and we continue to follow breaking news, a CN freight train derailment in Etobicoke. As many as five cars went off the rails this morning. No word exactly why it happened. The good news, though, for commuters is that the derailment is not affecting any passenger service on the goal line or the up express. A CN spokesperson has told us there were no dangerous goods involved and no injuries to report. Canada's so-called Prince of Pot and his wife are expected to appear at a bail hearing this morning after being arrested last night at the airport. Let's get more details now, live from Carmen Wong outside of Old City Hall Courthouse. And this, they are the first couple of cannabis for sure. Yeah, uh, George, they were at the airport, according to a social media post by Mark Emery, on their way to Spain for a uh, cannabis convention there. And that's where they were arrested. They're being held until they appear for bail hearing here at 10 a.m. at Old City Hall Courthouse. As for the charges, that'll become clearer as we hear uh, the court proceedings this morning. But Mark Emery is no stranger to the justice system, been arrested nearly 30 times, served nearly four years in prison uh, for trying to sell marijuana seeds across the border. He's also, him and his wife, opened up a number of marijuana dispensaries all throughout the country, despite the fact that they're currently still illegal. Uh, even though the federal government under Liberal leader Justin Trudeau has indicated that they plan to legalize marijuana, they've put former Toronto Police Chief Bill Blair in charge of that framework for the regulation around the legalization of marijuana. The fact is, it is still illegal. So, uh, Mark Emery, his wife Jody Emery, appearing here at Old City Hall Courts at 10 a.m. We'll be uh, listening in to the proceedings here and bring you the latest live on CP24. Back to you. Carmen, thanks very much. And researchers are looking into the potential benefits of cannabis as a treatment for childhood epilepsy. In June, a University of Saskatchewan study will focus on 30 kids between the ages of 1 and 10. Doctors will gradually introduce cannabis oil while closely monitoring the young patients for side effects. The universities of Alberta and BC, as well as McGill and the University of Montreal, will also be involved. All right, time now to check traffic and weather. Let's begin.